Hello, here's your latest Sky Sport News update. New consultant Phil Gould says he'll do whatever it takes to help the Warriors through a turbulent period. But with no trans-Tasman bubble and an escalating COVID-19 situation in Australia, Gould's unsure of how often he'll be in New Zealand. They're all sort of waiting to see what happens there between Australia and New Zealand and just how convenient travel might be. But virtually every waking hour now will be dedicated towards the Vodafone Warriors and their future. That's you know, the job I've been given. That's what my passion is. And uh, there won't be a moment where I won't be thinking of ways that we can do things and improve. Gould's hoping to work with both the Warriors and New Zealand Rugby League to create a better pathway for future talent. Kiwi cyclist Paddy Bevan's eager to see out the rest of the season before contemplating joining one of the biggest names in the sport. He signed a two-year deal with the Israel Startup Nation, the same team four-time Tour de France winner Chris Froome is moving to. While Bevan hasn't had the chance to catch up with him yet, he's looking forward to riding alongside him next year. I'm sure he's done a bit of background research uh, on me, but uh, no, it's just one of those things. It comes together. Look, the the 2021 season is, is still quite a way away, and there's a lot of a lot of racing to go on until the end. So. Bevan will see out the rest of the season with his CCC team before making the move next year. The Toronto Raptors have held off the Milwaukee Bucks in their top of the table NBA clash in Florida, winning 114 to 106. Chris Boucher top scored for the Canadian outfit, landing 25 points. One back to back titles. Oh, here Boucher flushes it against two Bucks. The result didn't have any effect on the standings, though, with the Bucks already securing the top spot in the Eastern Conference ahead of the Raptors. Manchester United's confident they've got enough left in the tank to win the Europa League. They're through to the semi-finals of the competition after beating FC Copenhagen 1-0 in extra time this morning. The energy sapping victory was played in temperatures above 30 degrees in Germany, with the players and their manager struggling in the heat. Difficult conditions, even for me, with my shirt on, I, I, I started sweating and my t-shirt's uh, wet, so uh, I'm glad I didn't have to run uh, out there as much as they did. United will now face either Wolves or Sevilla on Monday morning. Thanks for watching Sky Sport News. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube if you haven't already. Stay with us for more updates.